Hi, I'm Steve Kleiss, Senior Photographer at America's Test Kitchen, and this is my feed. So, my handle is at Steve Kleiss. Um, it was something else for a while, an old nickname from college, before I decided to get serious and professional about it, and I'm not going to tell you what it was, but the people who know, know. My Instagram is mostly a little bit of a clearinghouse for interesting stuff that I make in the studio during the course of shooting over a day, a week, whatever. I'm weird, uh, so I like to kind of push the limits of the gear that I have, or the props that I have on hand, or the food that I have and do some dramatic things, some wild things, some crazy actions that you'd never do with stuff. I, you know, would take the discard pile from a pie shoot that's just like six slices of pie that have just been smushed to hell and back, you know, throw them under whatever lighting I had cooked up for the actual shot and just say, ah, here, beauty, mess, there it is. Uh, a cover shoot for the April-May issue of Cook's Country. Um, which features a banana pudding pie that Brian and I found on the road in Asheville, North Carolina. It's got this, you know, gorgeous brulee meringue top, all these swirls, all this like brown and black and, you know, valleys and peaks and all this kind of stuff. And at the very end, on the third day of shooting this cover, um, which was a lot, but we liked where we got, I was like, well, we've got all these pies, what should we do? You know, my art director's like, any other bases you want to cover? And I was like, Maggie? I want to smush this pie into somebody's face. And so I walk into the kitchen right next door and I just say to the room, is anybody here willing to take a pie in the face for no reason other than it's Thursday afternoon and we're feeling weird? Uh, so we tarped down the floor in the studio, counted it down, and Lon just smushed that pie into Matthew's face, um, you know, popped off a couple dozen frames of the whole process. I look around, there's like six people all on their phones out, you know, recording the thing on video. Uh, so we ended up getting this frame here, and you've got this, you know, meringue bit falling off. It was this gloopy, smushy mess, and um, they ended up actually using that in the uh, February-March issue, in like the little coming next issue feature thing at the bottom, just Matthew taking the pie in the face. So most of the accounts that I follow on Instagram are either based in, you know, photography or food, which should not really surprise anybody. Uh, there's this one guy who we met in Tampa, Jeff Houck, and a lot of what he does is sort of, you know, cool Tampa food ways. One of his series is, is the great convenience stores of Tampa. And it runs from like places by the highway that just sell like prayer candles and, you know, chicharrones out of a hot case or something like that to, <laughs> to like the convenience stores at casinos, uh, which is just a wild thing. One of my favorite guys out there is uh, Robert Jacob Lerma, and he is the preeminent barbecue photographer in the United States of America. His real sort of passion is just taking these super gritty, amazing portraits of pitmasters at work, and it's, it's just stunning. I think my experience working in America's Test Kitchen has had a huge influence on um, what I post to my Instagram account, obviously because I'm in the studio shooting five days a week. Like, if you had told me that I would have this kind of setup, you know, nine, ten years ago when I started here, I would have said, no, I'm gonna be a serious news photographer who travels to war zones and stuff, because that was the that was the goal at the time. But now it's like, hey, I've got all these resources, the food's right in front of me, I've got a whole team to back me up. It gives me an opportunity to kind of like leave my body a little bit and say, Get down in there and don't look up until you've made what you want to make. So yeah, thanks for checking out my feed. Uh, if you like photos of delicious looking food, up close photos of delicious looking food, up close photos of wild looking food, light shining through cocktails, documentary road photography from kitchens across America, uh, the occasional you know quarterly shameless selfie, or cooking videos from my apartment with uh, black bars with white text overlaid over them and ridiculous soundtracks, go ahead and throw me a follow.